Christian von Koenigsegg, founder and CEO of the high-performance automaker Koenigsegg, revealed a next-generation engine technology that could, honestly, displace electric vehicles entirely. This happened in a tightly controlled, invite-only event, hidden from the public view, and attended by only top automotive elites and industry giants. He introduced the revolutionary engine design, a monster in itself, with power and torque like you just can't believe, all in a very friendly way. This is an innovation that isn't just a step forward, but, you know, the start of a whole new automotive era inside the camless revolution. Christian von Koenigsegg didn't just stroll onto the event at the old airbase runway in Engelholm. He owned the moment. Under the soft glare of studio lights, he brought out a short, wide-bodied carbon fiber test mule, tapped a button, and suddenly, silence gave way to something entirely new. Gone was the mechanical chatter of cams and chain, in its place, a clean, sharp hiss. That sound came from dozens of tiny air-driven pistons firing with mind-bending speed and precision. This was Koenigsegg's lightweight engine running on a radical system called free valve. There's no camshaft, no timing belt, just ultra-fast pneumatic actuators, all controlled by artificial intelligence adjusting every valve hundreds of times per second. That means more power from each drop of fuel and way less waste. This wasn't some wild last-minute invention. Koenigsegg and his engineers have been refining free valve for nearly a decade. Back in 2016, they shocked everyone by fitting it into a little 1.6-liter chorus hatchback. The results were wild. 47% more power, 45% more torque, and 15% less fuel use. All of that, just by ditching the camshaft. The first real-world result, a beast of a motor nicknamed the Tiny Friendly Giant. It's a two-cylinder twin turbo that delivers 600 horsepower. Yes, 600. From an engine that weighs just 154 pounds, stick it inside the four-seat Gemra prototype, and this Mega GT goes from 0 to 60 miles per hour in under two seconds. Keep your foot down, and it'll hit 248 miles per hour. The trick is constant valve control. At cruising speeds, the engine sips fuel gently, but the second the turbos kick in, the valves snap open fully for maximum power. This lets the engine act calm or crazy, depending on what your right foot is doing. But, Koigseg didn't stop there. Pair that tiny friendly giant with his new in-house electric motor, the Dark Matter, and things go nuclear. The motor alone weighs just 86 pounds, but makes 800 horsepower and 922 pound effective torque. Put the two systems together, and you get a hybrid pushing out 1,700 horsepower and a jaw-dropping 8,100 pound-feet of torque at the wheels. All of that power gets routed through Koenigsegg's custom N-Speed multi-clutch gearbox, which lets the car instantly jump from one gear to another. It's called light speed for a reason. Still, brute force was never the only goal. Koenigsegg and his team became obsessed with efficiency. Free Valve's dyno tests already show it climbing toward the magic number, 50% thermal efficiency. That's nearly double what old-school muscle cars managed. And it's possible, because this engine doesn't waste heat. Every cylinder breathes exactly what it needs. No more, no less. When the car is idling, the engine just closes all the valves and waits. It barely uses fuel at all until you press the pedal again, and it's not picky about what you feed it. This engine can run on regular gas, pure methanol, Brazilian ethanol, even synthetic E fuels made from captured carbon and clean electricity. Fill it up with Sweden's INT5 biodiesel or straight up E methanol and you get almost net zero carbon emissions without needing to dig more lithium or strain the power grid. But torque is cheap in the world of supercars, so in early June of 2025, Koenigsegg opened up the old Air Force hangar at their headquarters in Engelholm and invited a few test drivers and journalists to see the thing run. They watched a stripped-down GMRA prototype, still wearing sensors but no camouflage, rocket down the runway on a tank filled with 95% ethanol. It hit 60 miles per hour in just 1.9 seconds, again and again and managed to break well before the markers at the end. The test log showed every detail, exact valve events, fuel trim adjustments, exhaust temps. The onboard AI was making real-time tweaks, shaving off drops of fuel while keeping the engine cool enough to protect the turbos. Many still crave the feeling of a real engine. Slash Gear's year-long series on drivers who refused to give up manual gearboxes broke traffic records. People kept coming back to the same reason sound, vibration, and a sense of control. They said that's what's missing from most electric cars. Koenigsegg's light-speed engine really speaks to that crowd. 
It delivers the sound and feel of combustion without the climate guilt, cutting carbon emissions close to zero when it runs on renewable methanol. So, drivers still get the thrill, while regulators still get to sign off. The economics are catching up too. Bloomberg Neff's most cautious projections still show that entry-level battery SUVs could cost the same as gas-powered ones by 2028. And in places where ethanol is already blended into the fuel supply, that price match could happen even sooner because the infrastructure is already there. Jobs are just as important in this equation. A recent study by the International Council on Clean Transportation found that battery cell factories need about 144 workers per gigawatt hour, but most of those jobs are concentrated in just a few big facilities. On the other hand, a camless retrofit strategy like Coix Eggs spreads the work across existing engine plants assembly lines and dealerships that keeps more people employed in more places. It's a model that unions in the U.S. Midwest and lawmakers in Germany are now paying close attention to. They worry that if battery mega factories become the only game in town, jobs and value could drain out of their home region. Looking ahead, the data points toward a future of coexistence rather than one technology beating all the others. Bloomberg Neff now expects global sales of electric passenger cars to pass 39 million per year by 2030, with battery vehicles eventually dominating the market. But the International Energy AY's Net Zero Roadmap shows the fastest emissions cuts come when small, high-city cars go electric, while heavier-duty vehicles in rural areas rely on ultra-efficient engines burning low-carbon fuels. That kind of mix system lets each technology do what it does best, instead of, you know, trying to force one solution on everything. Right now, the pieces of this new automotive mosaic are rapidly and, honestly, irrevocably coming together, creating a landscape more diverse and exciting than any we have seen in over a century. Governments and regulatory bodies across the globe are progressively writing new, technology-neutral rules that move beyond mandating a single solution. Instead, they're creating a framework that allows any genuinely clean technology, whether it be advanced battery electric systems, hydrogen fuel cells, or ultra-efficient combustion engines running on carbon-neutral synthetic fuels, to compete on a level playing field based solely on their real-world emissions and environmental impact. Simultaneously, forward-thinking automakers, hedging their bets in an uncertain future, are making strategic investments in synthetic fuel production plants and supply chain development. They're ensuring there's a viable, low-carbon fallback plan just in case the widespread adoption of battery electric vehicles faces unforeseen hurdles related to raw material scarcity, charging infrastructure, or even consumer acceptance. This shifting industrial landscape is mirrored by the enduring preferences of drivers themselves, and, you know, a significant portion of folks remain deeply drawn to the visceral, emotional power and auditory character of a real internal combustion engine. A connection that pure electric propulsion for all its benefits has yet to replicate for everyone. Crucially, the once daunting price gap between these various powertrain options is closing fast, making the choice between technologies less about economics and more about personal preference, lifestyle needs, and, honestly, driving pleasure. Christian von Koenigsegg has articulated this philosophy before, and it really bears repeating in this pivotal moment. There is no fundamental need to pick just one single path for the entire automotive industry. True innovation is not a zero-sum game where one technology must vanquish all others to be considered a success. So, the future of mobility is not a monolithic destination but, really, a spectrum of possibilities. Whether you ultimately end up with the whisper-quiet, instantaneous torque of a sophisticated electric motor for your daily commute or, you know, the fierce, mechanically symphonic growl of a camless, hyper-efficient engine for your weekend escape, the real victory for consumers and the planet alike is having genuine, viable choices. Because the best drivetrain for you, with your unique driving habits, your specific geographic location, and your personal emotional connection to the act of driving, might not be the best, most practical, or most enjoyable solution for someone else. This philosophy champions a tailored approach over a one-size-fits-all mandate. And for the first time in a long while, after years of being told that the future of driving was singular and predetermined, a linear path leading exclusively to one type of technology, that fundamental power of choice is being restored. The freedom to thoughtfully select a vehicle that truly aligns with your individual values, your practical needs, and your deepest desires for the driving experience is no longer a theoretical concept. It is finally, unequivocally, being placed back in your hand.
This is not just about choosing between different brands or body styles, it is about selecting the very soul of your vehicle, the principle that will propel you forward. This renewed autonomy marks a pivotal and exciting chapter for every enthusiast and everyday driver alike, signaling a future built on diversity and personal expression rather than compromise. Thanks for watching.